As Doug Jackson says, we build it better because we build it twice. Right, so I suppose we'll try that again and see how it goes. it up and check it and leave it and then let it cool a bit and then try and weld it a little bit more. Now as you can see here after initially starting welding this with this piece at the bottom to offset it that much when I started welding on both sides uh, the heat then of course pulling it in as I learned the first time I tried to weld it uh, now it's ended up like that so that looks square to me and then on this side the same thing, that looks square to be. This is the, the tabernacle just sort of sat on the mast here just for a look at it. And what I'm thinking of doing, and someone can tell me if I'm completely crazy, is raising up the height of the mast off of the foot of the step there like that, uh, about 75, 80 millimeters. That means that the sheaves will clear, the boom vang or whatever you want to call it is going to clear here uh, it raised the boom that much higher here's the, where the boom attaches and the only thing I'll have to do in addition to making the HDPE block at the bottom here uh, that high is to increase the length of the, um, the chain plates which I intend replacing the chain plates with new chain plates anyway so adding 75 80 mil onto the, the length of the chain plates to raise the whole rig up that much higher is not going to be an issue because I'm making new ones. So, also, in addition to that, I think I'll put in an insert inside the, the inside of the mast here, another HDP insert which will connect with the other HDP block on the here, and that for me it'll be supported fully across, like fit that, install it into the 
the bottom end of the mast to close it up like a piece up so sort of like this depth inside here so it'll be a good contact between that and the HDP under the mast so that's what I'm thinking of doing anyone who thinks that's a completely crazy idea let me know in the comments below I've made this brace for the back side of the mast facing rearmost towards the cockpit. Now the reason for this is to keep this whole thing more rigid in the top section just to give it a bit more reinforcement and stop it from shifting and moving make it stronger. The way I've made this here is by taking some of this straight stuff and uh, cutting a line in it, bending it on that line and then welding it up to make it into this U-shaped piece here. So that's the technique I use to to make that. So after quite a lot of uh, cutting, welding and grinding that's the end result. I put this brace on the front here to give it a bit more strength. When the pivot point is here it'll pivot over that. Uh, that's it. Put another brace in the back here as well. And that's it. And of course it's raining. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Make sure you give a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time. So we were promised blue skies and sunshine today. We've got grey skies and really windy. And we're going to go here on top of the evening. Not true, perhaps we're going to do it here in Old Castle, and we're going to be here in Ireland. And, uh, Despite the grey skies, despite the wind, it's an absolutely magical place.